Hello, my name is Pastor Roy, and I'm going to tell you a little about the Bible today. It's such an awesome book, and you need to know a little bit more about it so you can learn more about the Lord. There are actually 66 different books in the Bible, 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New. The Old Testament is the history from creation up to the time of Christ's birth. All the prophets and that are included in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we have Christ's birth on through the book of Revelation, which actually tells about what's going to happen at the very end of time. That's a very good question. You want to look at the front of your Bible. You will find the list of the Bible. Here's the Old Testament and the New Testament. The books are listed on the far left-hand side, and then the page number is listed just to the right of that. You would like to find a certain topic. If you have a study Bible, you can look in the very back of your Bible and find what is called a concordance. Under there, for example, let's say we're looking for water. Here's the word waters and all the different verses that refer to water in the Bible. Now there's more than this, but a typical Bible is going to give you, a typical study Bible is going to give you a good list of them. Then you can look up the chapter or the, the book, the chapter and the verse where to look to to find it. First Peter is the book of the Bible. Chapter two is the second chapter and the verse 15 is actually the verse the original Bible has had no verses or chapters. These are just to help us to be able to find our way through the Bible. If you didn't know where Peter was, we could look to the front again. Then you would find 1 Peter listed at the very top of your Bible. Chapter, here's chapter 3. We're looking for chapter 2, verse 18. So we back up and here's verse 18. 18 means the verse, chapter is, of course, the chapter, and there's 1 Peter at the top. That is a very good question, and it depends on you. If you like a more modern English version, you would want to look for something like the Message Bible, uh, the New Living Translation, something like that. However, if you really want to study the Bible and understand what it means deeper, you would find a, want to find a study version of the Bible like an NIV or an Old King James or a New King James, just depending on what kind of language you like. Most books, you would begin at the beginning. In the Bible, that's not necessarily a good idea. Like I said earlier, Genesis is the, actually means the beginning. But if you're going to read about Christ, you'd probably want to start in the New Testament. Look at the book of John. That is one of the Gospels. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All describe the life of Christ. That would be a very good place to start the Gospel of John. Well, yes and no. Genesis, as I said earlier, talks about the very beginning. Revelation, at the end of the Bible, talks about the very end. But in between, they're not necessarily in chronological order, but they do have a flow to them that helps you get from one end to the other. A cross-reference 
is found in a study Bible. It would be right in the middle of your column. If you look in a verse, you would find a small letter, a V beside it. If there's a cross reference, you would come to the middle of your Bible, follow down to where you would find the V, for example. That would tell you other places in the Bible where that very topic is talked about. The commentary is found at the very bottom on a study Bible. Again, it's just comments on the verse. It's not the actual Bible itself. It's the translator's comments about the verse, which often gives you background into the verse, helps you to understand it a little better. That depends on you. It's your Bible. You can do with it what you want. I like to do that myself. As you can see in mine, I underline a lot. I will write personal notes in there, things that stand out to me, how God talks to me from the Bible. I personally think it's a great idea. Again, I want to thank you for your time listening to just a few small facts about the Bible. This is such an awesome book. One man has described it as God's love letter to us. Just imagine God having people write this down for us and us not reading it. We can't get anything out of it if we don't read it. Have a great time reading his word. You'll get to know him better and you'll get to know a lot of other things about yourself as well.